Hey, what's up you guys? Uh, in this video, I'm going to be talking about some changes that just happened to Flippa maybe about a month ago. Um, some of you may be disappointed by this or discouraged, but really you shouldn't be because the app reskinning strategy still works. You kind of just have to change uh, your methods a little bit, but really not too much. So um, let's get into it right now. So if you go to flippa.com, you will see that uh, their interface actually changed quite a bit. It looks a lot nicer now, um, but like once you actually get into the website, it's still the same, so it's still not the best looking website, but the home page is definitely improved. Um, but the more important change here is that the pricing structure of Flippa changed. So it used to be a $9 listing fee with a 15% success fee. So let's say you sold something for $100, that means Flippa would take $15 of it. Uh, so now if you take a look at pricing, uh, there's three different uh, pricing options here. So the only one we'll be worried about is assets because we're not selling like actual businesses here. Uh, so don't pay any attention to these two. Uh, so we're gonna focus on assets. And as you'll see here, the pricing structure changed to a $25 listing fee plus a 10% success fee. So the success fee lowered, but the listing fee increased a lot. Uh, it was previously $9 and now it's 25. So that's a bit of a bigger barrier for some people here. Um, $25 is still not terrible, but it's, uh, it's still kind of annoying. So this helped people who sell their apps or websites for larger amounts of money because the 10% success fee is 5% uh, less than the 15% one they had before. So if you're selling your apps or websites for a ton of money, uh, I think I calculated it's somewhere like over $400 or something like that, where you'll actually save money. Uh, but if you're selling stuff for less than that, then you're not making as much money as before. So let's calculate the break even here. Um, so since there's a $25 fee, of course you'll have to make at least $25 from that. But if you include the 10% success fee, you're actually going to have to make $27.78 to be able to break even. Uh, this is also not including any PayPal fees, so you should also include those, but those are much less, somewhere around like 1-3%. to um, I kind of forget what they are, but they're pretty small. Uh, so. Now that you have to make $27 just to break even, you really have to be more careful about which reskins you choose and how you reskin them and uh, how you sell them to people. So I'm gonna take time right now to really emphasize uh, what you should be doing with your apps to make them sell for more so you don't end up losing money. Um, $27 is still not that much money, so I think most of you will be able to make more than that on your app. Even like my worst reskins would sell for $50. So there would be like $25 profit there. So let's start with like the categories you should be focusing on right now. Um, it's basically the same as before when I started making these videos about a year ago. The best categories are really social media, e-commerce, service apps, and anything crypto. Because uh, of course crypto is still pretty popular right now. And people don't know much about it, so they'll pay a pretty good premium for it. Service-based apps are anything like Uber type of apps or uh, restaurant like ordering apps where you can order, do mobile orders and pick it up or have someone deliver it for you. Uh, so that type of stuff. Of course, e-commerce is like marketplace uh, apps or apps for people running stores that sell like clothing or food or something. And then social media are apps like Instagram, Facebook, uh, Twitter. So those are pretty uh, self-explanatory. <coughs> so the reason these sell for a lot more is because they're more advanced apps. They all need like a type of database usually, or um, just it takes a lot more planning and uh, technical skill to make them than some like simple game or uh, a music playing app stuff that you frequently see on Flippa and that's selling for much money. So in addition to choosing the correct template, you're gonna to need to make the proper changes to it to make it look really nice and really sell it to people. Um, so some really important things to do 
or make the interface nice. It really needs a nice modern flat interface, uh, no clutter, uh, no weird shadows and that type of stuff. Keep the colors simple and um, if you need some help, just Google like good mobile app designs and uh, use that as some inspiration. It takes some time to uh, start getting good at doing that, but uh, after like your first few apps, you'll get pretty good at it. Another important part is making good screenshots because when people are checking out your app on Flippa, once they click the link, one of the first things they'll see is the screenshots. So if those are very eye-catching and make your app look great, then people are going to be more likely to bid or buy it now. Um, in addition to that, people frequently see the icon first. Uh, sometimes it's right on the main page of Flippa. So if you have a really eye-catching icon, uh, people are going to click on your listing and check it out. And then finally, you should have a catchy name because for some reason people associate like short, cool names with uh, better apps or websites, uh, like something like Google or uh, Instagram. Like they're kind of catchy and like easy to say. So you kind of want something like that. You don't want some like long name that is like very boring, like a uh, clothing store or something like that. No one is going to click on that or want to buy that. So if you make those changes to your apps, uh, there's a very high chance you'll be able to at least break even, and uh, more likely you'll make a lot of money from the app. Because um, usually my apps on average sell for $300, so even taking away the 27 or like the $25 success uh, listing fee and the 10%, you'll still make a lot of money. Um, so what else is there? So because Flippa is making a lot of changes, um, they're getting a lot more expensive and you know the, their interface just isn't that nice. Um, and sometimes it's just not that easy to use. I've been thinking about creating my own marketplace uh, that'll be a lot cheaper to use and a lot nicer looking and uh, maybe try to run this within the next one to two years. I'm, I've started building it now and uh, I hope it'll be out soon. So hopefully you guys can get excited about that because uh, you guys, of course, will be the first ones to try it out and use it. And I think it'll be great. Uh, as I move along more with it, I'll show you guys the designs and everything. And I'll probably invite some people for like a beta test too. So uh, that is something to look forward to within like the next few months to a year. Uh, hopefully I'll get it out there. But besides that, Keep going with your app reskinning. There's a lot of students having success, people selling apps for like $1,000, getting freelancing deals, uh, doing all sorts of things with iOS apps and Android apps, um, people even doing it with Amazon apps too. So there's still a lot of potential to make money out there. And uh, just keep going, even though the success fee is higher. If you don't have the money, get a little job for a little bit to save up some money to list some apps and uh, just get going with it. And as always, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask me. The best way to reach me is to join the Expert App Reskinners Facebook group and then just make a post there. Uh, we're almost at 1,000 uh, group members now, and we're almost at 1,500 subs. So thank you guys for the support. It's almost been one year since I started, and uh, it's been great. Uh, thank you guys for all the support, and I hope this video helped you out and encouraged you to keep going with reskinning apps because there's still a lot of potential out there, especially with me uh, about to launch my new marketplace within the next year. Um, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.